One thing about RVs is no matter how big they are, seems that there's never enough room for everything. And that's certainly the case in this RV with the kitchen area. This little area here is about the only place we've got to um, easily use a chopping board. And what we have is we have this chopping board that we like to use here. And it's a nice piece of corian. It's about 12 inches square. But the problem is it doesn't fit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a corner here and cut the corner off uh, on my uh, saw. And uh, we'll see if it makes it fit any easier. Well, you can find these cutting boards uh, at any home center, like, uh, you know, usually a Lowe's or Menards or maybe Home Depot um, as well. Uh, you can probably find them on eBay. I found mine several times on eBay, uh, as well as Amazon, you know, and those kind of places. And essentially what they are is uh, just leftover uh, corian from, say, sink cutouts and things like that. And you could even go to a kitchen shop in your local town if you wanted to. And they used to sell them to you for like 20 bucks for a cutout. But nowadays uh, they've gotten kind of smart and so now they're making cutting boards out of those kitchen sink cutouts. So however way you get yours, this stuff machines just like wood. Uh, so just standard carbide tip woodworking tools will work uh, to machine core in. So basically this is just going to be a 45 degree cut. So I have set up my Inkra Miter 1000 uh, to 45 degrees here and put a stop on here. So the next step is just to cut it. When you're dealing with power tools, always let them stop before you reach your hand in here. Now, there is a bit of a rough edge on here. So what we'll do is we'll take it over to the... Uh, now, there's a bit of a rough edge here. And you can either put a uh, go to the router table and route this down, or I'm just going to run this across the uh, sander a little bit and smooth it down, and that should be good enough. Okay, I just sanded this down a little bit. So just so it's not too rough, uh, you can get really fancy if you want and use 400 grit, 1000 grit, 2000 grit sandpaper and get this thing just shiny, but this does get scratched up anyway uh, while you're cutting it. And I didn't show you the sanding process just simply because I didn't want to get the camera uh, too close to all the sawdust. Uh, I'm not sure how good that it would be for the health of the camera. So uh, just kind of imagine, if you will, just sand in this corner. What I have is just a set of uh, rubber grip pads. These are kind of made out of rubber and um, they're a little nicer, a little bigger than the ones before. So basically I'm just going to stick one in each corner like this. Since I now have two corners, I'll put two here. There you go. So that should make a nice cutting board for the uh, RV. Now we have a cutting board that we can set here in this corner, just like that. And now, uh, be before it was uh, <coughs> hanging over like this, you know. But now we can set it here. Got a nice cutting board. So, <coughs> just a nice little uh, simple project to do to help uh, Hope you live in your RV.